Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. So welcome to my Eid al Fitr vlog 2019. In this vlog I've included like Eid preparation, uh, baking a cake, my night before Eid routine and of course Eid day itself. So I really do hope you enjoy watching. And of course, lots of food. So a few days before Eid, I baked the cake. So I ended up making a rainbow cake. And um, yeah, I kind of set aside a day to do that. I didn't want to rush like the night before Eid. You need the ingredients that are written on screen. I'll try and put them in the description. But basically, you need to decide what colors you're gonna have in your cake. Each time I made the butter, the cake butter, I split it between two cake tins and then added um, some food colouring and um, baked that and then washed everything and then repeated the process. So as you can see, I've got the cake butter there and I'm splitting it between two mixing bowls so to one I added some red food colouring add a little bit at a time you don't want to put loads in and then it's too colourful So I'd done the red layer, then I added some orange food colouring. And then just pour your butter and spread it in a cake tin. These ones I think are 20 centimeters in size. Just kind of make sure it's evenly spread. So they look lovely and colourful and I baked them at 160 fan assisted for about just over 12 minutes and they baked completely fine. So I repeated the process and this time I added some yellow food colouring and um, some green. Then I baked the green and the yellow layer. This was quite time consuming because I've only got the two cake tins and I had to wash the cake tins and mixing bowls but it's definitely worth it. I 
And then the last layer that I added uh, was a blue layer. This blue colouring wasn't actually that strong, but it turned out fine. I would have added violet or like a light purple, but I couldn't find any food colouring um, of that colour. So I just made five layers. And later that evening, I made the topping. So adding the amount of butter that it said and mascarpone, or you can just add um, full fat soft cheese or cream cheese. And um, lots and lots of icing sugar. So I added uh, 700 grams and then added it in two lots just because it would have been too messy otherwise. And then it was time to assemble the cake and this bit was fun. So the cake board was from Poundland, they also had a square one. I went for a round one because I was making round cakes. But basically I'm just layering up the colours, so starting with the blue, the green, the yellow and putting a thinnish layer of um, the buttercream in between each layer. And then I topped with a thin layer of buttercream and kind of roughly did the sides. And that was it for the cake that night. Like it was late and I wasn't going to do anything else. So I left it in the fridge to chill. And then the next morning I kind of tried to add a more even layer of buttercream just on the top. And then I wanted to make a few swirls or designs on the cake. Now I'm not a very a creative person, but I do what I can. <laughs> so yeah, I just kind of split the remaining buttercream in three different bowls and added um, some red, some green, but well, it's more like orange food coloring, orange, green, and um, yellow. And then I added a mixture of the colours to like the icing syringe. I didn't have any icing bags in the house. I think I would have done a better job if I did have. And then I attempted a few swirls, which weren't the prettiest. But don't worry guys, in the end it looks all good. <laughs> this is just the raw product, you know. But I really, really like the colours. I think the colours look really pretty and then I attempted to write Eid Mubarak in the centre of the cake and just making a mess on, on the side of the cake really and then I kind of uh, dusted some gold dust over the top and yeah you must admit it looks all right mashallah so that was the Eid cake done and then the day before Eid the day before potential Eid so this was on Monday because Eid could have been Tuesday or Wednesday and now we know that well, I know that I celebrated it on Tuesday. I know some people celebrated it on Wednesday. But anyway, um, yeah, I did some food preparation. So at this point, I was marinating some chicken wings. So the plan was to have a barbecue. So we decided on getting chicken wings, some minced meat for kebabs to make like burgers and some sausages. So I was preparing the marinade for the chicken wings. I'll link the recipe for these chicken wings. It is quite nice, mashallah. It's so useful when you're making stuff like this because you can marinate it and leave it overnight and then you're not stressing the night before either on the day of Eid. So I'm just 
just wrapping it up, popping that in the fridge. Then I made the chicken bilal, I made a chicken niblet bilal which was very tasty, mashallah. So yeah, just got that all nice and ready. And then we got news that the moon had been sighted, alhamdulillah. So it was confirmed that Eid was going to be on Tuesday for us, which was really good. Otherwise, I don't think that rice would have kept for like two days. And then I just wrote a list of everything that I needed to get done um, that evening to make sure we were nice and ready for Eid the next day. And I shaped the kebabs and then made some chocolate cornflakes. This was quite late at night now. And then it was time for some fun and relaxation for me. So my night before Eid pamper routine. If you've watched my Eid pamper hamper video, you recognize this hamper. So I lit a candle for a lovely atmosphere. And then I applied the face mask. The face mask application brush was really nice actually, from Poundland, in case you didn't know. And then I've got my new PJs and I would have liked to have a bath but it's really late, I don't know, one in the morning, something like that. So I just had a shower and then um, came down and made myself a nice cup of tea because it was the end of Ramadan, it was the last fast and um, yeah, it was a joyous occasion ahead. So <clears throat> got some lovely chocolates there from me Pampa Hamper. That was me done for the night, and then it was Eid day. تقبل الله منا ومنكم عيد مبارك علينا وعليكم تقبل الله منا ومنكم عيد مبارك علينا وعليكم صمنا أياما أحلى الأيام يا ربي أعدها كل الأعوام صمنا أياما أحلى الأيام يا ربي أعدها كل الأعوام يا ربي أعدها افرحوا هذا اليوم وحق لكم أن تفرحوا ورسولكم صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الريان in paradise there's a door and that door is called الريان يدخل منها الصالحون those people who are fasting in the month of Ramadan they are the ones who will enter from that door لا يدخل منه أحد غيرهم my brothers and sisters in Islam they are the ones that will تقبل الله منا ومنكم عيد مبارك علينا وعليكم تقبل الله منا ومنكم عيد مبارك علينا وعليكم سلام everybody السلام عليكم hello I hope you're all super duper well Alhamdulillah I'm well Eid Mubarak Happy Eid Have a wonderful Eid so yeah, I've realized I've not actually said um, Eid Mubarak to you. It's Eid day, it's Tuesday. I know some people are celebrating on Wednesday. So whatever day you celebrate, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time. It's around half two in the afternoon. So we went to Eid prayers this morning, came back and had our Eid breakfast subway. <laughs> we just went for a subway sandwich then. 
because I've cooked all the food and then I was a bit tired and the kids wanted that so we were like all right then let's get you some beer sandwiches and then we've kind of just been relaxing like Akia was working last night so he got some more rest yeah I've just kind of been sat around now I need to pray I have to remove my makeup not that I've got loads on but I'm going to remove my makeup and not bother putting any more on. I just can't be bothered. So after praying, inshallah, we'll have some lunch. Going to have the rice, um, the chicken pilau. I just made a chicken niblet pilau, actually. Going to have that with uh, the lamb curry for lunch. And uh, we're meant to do a barbecue today, which I'm really looking forward to. So it's raining at the moment. Surprise, surprise. The weather was really nice this morning. Really nice and warm. It's still warm, but it's rainy on and off. So I was checking the weather forecast and around like half three, four o'clock, hopefully inshallah it'll stop raining and it won't rain all evening. So after then, um, inshallah we can do our barbecue, marinated some chicken wings, uh, made some kebabs, got sausages, so that should be yummy. Got our Eid cake as well, which I made a few days ago and I'm so looking forward to cutting into that and trying it out. So it's all about food really, as you can tell. <laughs> so I'm going to remove my makeup now, pray, and then um, inshallah have a little bit of lunch. The kids are just playing uh, on the PS4. Couldn't think of gifts to get them, because all they like is Fortnite at the moment. So just cash, cash money, cash money yo. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to stop raining anytime soon. It's about four o'clock now and I'm just about to make myself a cup of tea. I've missed this, you know, just making yourself a cup of tea at any time of the day. Really missed it and I'm so looking forward to having a cup of tea right now. I looked at the weather forecast again and it's going to be cloudy all evening but it doesn't say anything about rain. It should have really stopped by now so I don't know what's going to happen. Akil's gone out anyway for now. He's gone to a workmate's house. He's taken the boys with him. Apart from Ayuba Dolly, they're just a mini sized boy and um, they're buzz here as well. So I'll make her some tea as well. We'll have some chocolates, maybe put on like a Disney movie, Frozen or Tangled. Our movies of choice. What do you reckon, Ayub? So we are going to watch Cinderella. <coughs> but Ayub doesn't want to watch it. He's tired now. You want a nap, baby, yeah? Okay, that was a long moan. <laughs> So it's uh, midnight now, it's actually midnight, when did I last vlog, oh yeah the meal was very nice, our eat meal, it was just raining all evening, the weather forecast lied to me, it wasn't just cloudy, it rained all evening, so there was no chance of a barbecue, so I just put the chicken wings and, I put the chicken wings in the oven and then I fried the kebabs and had some burgers and chicken wings. 
looked nice and mashallah i was really impressed with my rainbow cake it's something i've always wanted to make <laughs> well not always but for a little while and i'm so glad i tried it even though it was a bit of an effort but yeah it was fun yeah and i'm just gonna go up now and relax i'll probably end up falling asleep but i would like to watch something a movie of some sort maybe a repeat of like something i've seen before i usually just watch friends or um i might watch like pride and prejudice on netflix how boring am i or like emma jane Eyre is um available on netflix as well but it's a bit depressing that so i might just watch like an episode of pride and prejudice and see what elizabeth and mr darcy get up to <laughs> but most likely i'll just fall asleep i usually have tea at this time with the um, chocolate but i'm so full um, that I've got no space right now. What a shame. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's Eid done. It, it's been nice, alhamdulillah. Not been anywhere special. But the main thing I had in mind was to make it nice-ish for the kids. And they enjoyed the day, really. I think. <laughs> Just could be making it up because I've had the like, worst day ever. But anyway, I hope those of you that are celebrating have had um, a wonderful, wonderful Eid. No matter what day you celebrated it on. I hope you ate lots of yummy food and I hope those of you that don't celebrate Eid I hope you learn a little something watching my vlogs during Ramadan and Eid that's it really I'll end it there Jazakallah thank you so much for watching inshallah I'll see you really soon no idea what kind of video I'm gonna upload um I feel a bit lost now now that Ramadan is over what should I upload next but I'll probably go back to my usual style of videos I might change it up a bit I don't know See how it goes. Alrighty. Take care. Lots of love. Inshallah. See you really soon. Salam. Bye. Boom, boom.